Hi, John. One hour here. Um, today is Thursday, the 10th of November 2016. Now, um, the elections are finished in America and we have a new President Trump. I was expecting that to happen, just following it through each day on the polls and also on what the people are thinking. They just don't want fraud and corruption anymore. And that includes us here in New Zealand. We've had enough, or the world for that matter, had enough of fraud and corruption in the system. In particular here with John Key and the TPPA is on the rocks now. So it's let a lot of pressure off of thinking what if Hillary Clinton got in. You can thank your lucky stars that she's not in. And now, yeah. so <clears throat> with that, we're saying congratulations to Donald Trump at being President of the United States of America. Now for us, it's going to be a big plus with the flag of Admiralty, Jurisdiction and Trade, because that's what this flag is. It's a trade, commercial trading bank flag of Jurisdiction in Admiralty, Banking, Law and also Military Protectorate right through the world. Free passage for our business from here in Little Rock little New Zealand at the top of the world if you look at the globe the right way out. So it's on with the business now. The first day of business after he's become president is clean out the beehive, mop it up, rid the swamp rats, lock them up, or better still hang them and start again fresh. All the Muslim people will be exiting, all those people in Hollywood that have put a bad image on America with all this uh, permissive jargon and abhorrent behavior of swinging in the breeze with no clothes on, just about, which put a bad look on the face of America in front of the world. So Donald Trump's there to clean it all up with a Trump train running over the corrupted bankers and also those who are responsible for stealing money from the people and bringing in illegal immigrants to vote for them. And everything evil in the news, media, CNN and all the rest of them that have been Fox News that have been responsible for pushing this satanic, devilish regime of the Clinton Foundation and the Obama Care and the Obama ISIS programs that's going to be stripped out and gotten rid of. Okay, so they are happy with that result of Donald Trump. We hope to do business with you, Donald Trump, if you're watching this video. I see my video right amongst your videos now. The most crucial, controversial uh, outsider in a political race. We're doing politics here as well with this flag, straight to Britain, UK, and the new king, or the old king, or the legitimate king, Dennis Augustus V. He's 68, just below you, Trump. 70 and me at 67. So there we go. We've got a good start at this age. And I see your little son. They look very good with him beside you uh, with a split image look that he'll be up and coming following in your footsteps. So it's very good that you have him as a role model 
and you as a role model for America, the new America, to make it better and more proficient and strong leadership. And that's what we're looking for with Maui, King William IV, Trust, and our organization in London, the Maui Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company. We're hoping to follow the King line uh, as soon as I get there and raise this flag in the Waitangi, Marae, King's Bench Native Court on 6 February 2017. It will be up the top of the flag, star, ship of King William Hall, Britain, UK, to take over the Queen's business with the swamp rats out. She's in the EU Parliament with the swamp rats. Clean them out. Clean out Westminster with this flag of jurisdiction of the Admiralty and make the Maui Power Note liven up as a new currency on an old currency system of Power Notes and rid the Rothschilds bad image in the banking industry. Okay, that's on the Queen Elizabeth side. That's been abhorrent and bad for business, bad for image, war and destruction. Now that's all about to change and World War Three, I can certainly predict that will not happen with Russia happy with Trump. And I'm happy, happy with Putin and Trump. And us here, the natives, and the natives in Dakota, we hope that that's the end of all the brutality that we're watching. You being pushed over with force of the police. Now, Trump's there. The police are on his side. The CIA is on his side. The FBI is on his side. And they will make a clean look police system. The same as here, the police will be cleaned out of all the fraud and corruption. And Cook Street property will be seizing that forthwith with this flag of jurisdiction and the fraud people in it. There's 41 of them altogether, 43 I think, and including John Key, including those judges and the police themselves. You've got a bone to pick with you. We've got your levy, debtor, bill, trillion pound each that's stacked up against the Rothschild banks and Queen Elizabeth II and her corporations. Under her Maori Iwi authorities, you get the bill. All right, this video is for you, you get the bill. Now I'm just going to call uh, Jim, we call two. He's, we're just arranging everything for Hokiana to get that going. I'll just keep them informed. Time now is 8.34 a.m. Open. Odahu, New Zealand. Believe that. He'll pick his phone up and ring back. Uh, so he'll be coming up to see me and we'll be heading up to Hokianga with the uh, uh, leaders there, the Tomata groups. It's very difficult. I must say it's very difficult because it's all mixed up. I'm looking for a chief there that's got a native surname to go with Jim Weakwater, otherwise his flag won't work. It won't work with the wrong names on it. Organising everything like this, it's got to go back to the beginning before Westminster will 
accepted as being the real native person. Now there's no use having someone else that's doing all the talking because it'll drift off into either the Catholic Church or the Church of England side and they're already here to talk for themselves in the Titi Marae. That's where that talking is done. Okay? I'm just making sure that we have a separation of courts here. That's the Queen's Bench Court with John Key's 1840 Treaty of Waitangi Contract. Okay? And the other one in um, Waitangi Marae is the ship of Admiralty. Here. Ship of Admiralty, Mars, straight to Britain with a native and a British. Right? So I'm, I'm hoping that Britain will send a British Admiral without the ship straight into the celebrations here of the New Zealand Navy 75 years. Now this flag is 182 years, right? It goes past 75 years of Navy. This is King William's Navy. 50 years he had in the Navy talking here to this land here when they first got here with Clendon, Captain Clendon on the Fortitude, HMS Fortitude, this flag is that era from that side in Waitangi Marae with a native surname. It's got to be right to make the documents work with the seal on it. Right, the Moai seal is Tahitian through the Pacific Islands, right through the Pacific Islands, Mana Whenua title. Okay, and you've got to have that seal and the chiefs themselves, native, with their name standing on the land talking to their name. Right? It can't be a name that's not true. It has to have a history. In fact, that person has to talk who they are. I can say who I am, and with Jim Wickletu from Matatu Waka can say who he is to the land with that surname. So we've got to find another surname in Hokianga or Matari Bay or around that area in Tingaidi with a surname that's native. No bodgy surname that's come from in the middle of the ocean somewhere. It's got to have substance, continuity of surname to surname to surname. So you go Manaka to Manaka to Manaka to Manaka to Manaka. Para para to para to para to para para to para para. One or two, one or two, one or two, one. You see? You can't go and jump the queue and get ahead and talk on the land because that person was there before you came. I know what that is going to lead to. People talking in the wrong place with this flag. Only those native chiefs were under those Pohutukawa trees. Only those natives at 1834, there was no Pākehā names there. Only those native indigenous natives, that's the right name given. Not marriage. Marriage was invented in 1945, the war. That name Maori was never anywhere from back, right back past 1840 to 1834 and right back to Te Rawaikato Whareherehere Manekao at 1820 and on the Hika if there's anybody with a Hika surname you're in that's what I'm looking for someone with a male has to be male not female you can't go down the female line because Tikanga Maui law is male dominant British Salic law under King William and King William III is male dominant. In a sort. End of story. Please don't talk about any other thing matter with this thing. Because you're talking out of place for Westminster, it's on the record. This is going on the record here and the record to put it straight, then park it up. We're going to park it up on the 6th of February, then move on. We're going on because the young people will identify themselves, who they are and where they're from, and their parents will tell us right, correct story, just like the, what Trump is doing, telling the truth. The truth prevails. All the satanic 
rituals and everything will be squashed, burnt at the stake and gone. That's the end times for that ugly uh, situation. Okay, so that's gone. So now we've got um, to get on with our lives and end the corruption and fraud, change the money systems and move on. I'll try again again. He's not there. Anyway, I'll just um, carry on. And um, I'll just ring Willie Pater. See if he's there in the Hokianga. We've got to keep in touch with these guys. I'm just uh, 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 elated with Trump getting in because that's going to make a big difference for us. Yeah, yeah. So, so that that will open up the way for this flag um, to go there and Britain at the same time on 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 the uh, on the way things are going to sort out the fraud and all that sort of thing. And here too, John Key and his TPPA is on the rocks now. It won't go ahead because Trump is not going to let it go. Okay, so that that's that's let the pressure off. And with the Navy coming um, um, from the United States, that'll change as well. Uh, and uh, the CIA and the FBI, all of that will change with Trump in there now. He's going to clean it all up. So. Uh, the threat, I think, of the Navy ship was is lessened now. If it was, if Hillary would have got in, they were going to force the martial law here and and put the TPPA in. That's not going to happen now. Okay. So we can look forward to setting ourselves up for 6th of February. And um, uh, Jim's going to come here on the 17th, and him and I will come out on the morning. So the, the who is at uh, 10 o'clock, eh? We're, we're here, uh, we'll be leaving about 5. Yeah, he's coming up on the Manabas and, uh, and uh, not go over my car. It, it's going to be in, in Otawa? What? Oh, Kataya. What? Oh, oh Kataya is before you, eh? Oh, after you. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, what's the Marae name? Oh, okay, okay. I'll just keep on touch with you with the phone. Uh, and uh, we should be there. What time is the Hui start? Okay, we'll, we should be there about 8.30. Might might be that or nine, something like that. Oh. At the mobile, okay. Meet it. At mobile. Oh yeah, I know where it is. I, I know where it is. Uh, Kai Tai I know where Kai Tai is. Yeah, corner, I know. Be before it goes out to you. Yeah, I know, I know where it is. Um so um <coughs> um who, who's all going to be there? Oh, that's good. I'll get in touch with him too because um, uh, that's going to that's gonna all work out now. <coughs> it's made the way <coughs> clear to put the flag up. Jim will organise that and Manahi um, Tangaidi. Oh, uh, you'll be on uh, one of them. Okay, so as long as I know. I've, I've put the things. It's a pity you haven't got the... Uh, email so I can send you all the stuff because I'm sending it to uh, to Jim. It's 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 the videos of what I'm saying to, to make it easier 
I've made clips uh, that uh, explaining everything, um, and um, and um, so um, I don't have to talk too much. Uh, yeah, I feel uncomfortable with him. Up, up, up. Yeah, I know, but um, but he only cuts me off all the time when I'm talking. Yeah, yeah, because um, I, I have to get a better understanding with him because I got to watch because everything I take to witness has got to match up. The 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 right people, the surnames have got to be right. Was that? Straight away after 6th of February, I'm, on, I'm off there. It's got to, it's got to go, go, go up over there. They're, they're waiting for this. I've got, I'm spending more time there. No, um, no not, not there. I don't need to because Kingy's got to go there because he's on the Queen Victoria line, you see, to get the, the trust. He, he's got a because he's got a direct line to King Edward and to Queen Victoria because he's a Edwards, you see. He, he's not a real totaler. He's a Edwards. He changed his name. I know all these things because that's why I've got to get the names right. And so that makes a difficulty, you see, because only the native surnames have got a match up with the documents before they accept it in uh, in. in um, um, Westminster. If you got that's what happens when Sue and everybody goes to the UN and to to the Westminster, they get booted out because their surname's wrong, and they, their name's not on the record. You see, so it only needs Wikotu is okay from Matatua because his name is Wikotu, which which fits the waka, and and with uh, Hohepa, he's he's an Epiha, but his real name is Epi. Did you know that? That's his real name, is Epping. In in New South Wales, the Epping City, and the Epping City in in uh, Sussex, England. That's his bloodline down his male line. It's got to be down the male line to get the title right. You see, I'm using Manukau title. That's only for the documents, nothing else. No, it's not going to change anything what you do, but the documents have got to go that way. Uh, so I'm using the Manukau name, the Wikotu name, then I've got to put Manahi, because he's a Tangaidi, that the surnames match up to the title, the native title. It's, you've got to stand there with your surname and say who you are and where you come from. So I do that too. I say who I am, where I come from, what I, what I'm sitting on the land at East Coast. It doesn't matter which piece of the land, it's still the same, really. We're, we're all integrated now that it really doesn't matter it doesn't but for the documents sake yes it does for the titles because i'm putting the titles together to take over and i just explain it that way because nothing will change on your management and how you do things that's not going to change it's just uh, they it's got to go back to the beginning uh, uh under the poor hutakau tree there was only those natives if you had hongi hika if there's someone with a surname hika they'll go straight in because that's who put it all together in England in 1820, just going past 1835 or 1840. I'm going into that side, you see? And that Hokianga is the first point of call for that British ship with that alligator, with that uh, uh, that um, Captain, what's his name, George Lambert. So Lambert has got a history there at Hokianga. That's the right one. That's the, that's the right captain from Britain for the titles I'm doing under that poor Hutukau tree uh, whoever's talking about it, you see? So he comes under that line, uh, but he's Australian, you see? I'm getting British people with their surname from Britain because different stories from New South Wales, you've got to keep them separate uh, on, on the, on the, the, uh, the uh, Queen's titles and Queen Victoria line is Kingy and, 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 and the rest of uh, uh, that people who came from Australia is different to the ones who came straight from Britain, right? So Moira Hoffman, Russell, she's from Russell, she's from Hokianga, and she lives in Rotorua, but she's a uh, Russell straight from Britain, you see? And that's what I'm trying to do is get that part sorted, then pack it up, put it away in the, in the archives after that.
then we can get on with what we do together and and get on with things okay that's the only part I wanted to get to make straight so we can get it out of the way and get on with it and, and just carry on as normal but that's uh, um, a week or two is responsible to uh, organize his um, cousin the the uh, Bruce um, Bruce um, Poke Poke okay Bruce Poke Poke put the flag upside down uh, on, on Russell uh, and, and at Waitangi on Waitangi Day this year so he'll put the flag up the right way and, and, and Manahi is the native court judge in when we go in that marae and that's when he will he will on who? who? Bundy Waitai. Oh, that's good. The, what, the name sounds right. Uh, I'll just write it down so I know. What's that? Good, good. Oh, well, he, he stacks up anyway, I can tell straight away. So that means him and Manahi will be judges there, and I'll be the sheriff to go to England. That's uh, just carrying the, the pound note bill to England to get them to sort the land out here, and then we go from there. Okay, I've put a carving that a Mohi Manukau cow head that's come out of the Cobra. These things have been hidden in the mud, and a party I found it. But it's the four tribes of Ngāpuhi and, and Tainui and Arawa um, uh, on that carving. I've stuck it beside the marae where we're standing, and it fits. That's the parliament. That that is the parliament on the. I'll, I'll explain that when I come up. I'll get a photo of, of it and I'll explain how that fits onto that marae for the native court and parliament. That's the upper house there. We go into that one, John Key can come back in the TT one, where he's memorial the 1840, that's his. And we're on the other side, we, we, we go from there onwards, that's how it's looking, okay? And that carving is being hidden. Well, Mohi Manikau always had it, but no one was listening. Now, now it comes out. That's the, the kāpuru, the giant one from Aotea, Waikato, and that goes with the Tera Waikato, Parahirehere, Manukau, and Homihika. Those two go together uh, on those on that history to take back to Westminster, and the, and that's it. And then you can get on with it then after that, because the kids and everybody following the Rangatiras and and the, and the, the, they'll, they'll get it from then on. Uh, to, to, to do the normal things in today's world, okay? Okay, so um, um, if I had an email, I'd send you, because I've made the PDF documents of of heading off John Key here, and it's gone to the British High Commission in Wellington, it's gone to the Secretary of Defence in America, and it's gone to uh, the Secretary of Defence in Britain, um, alerting them to what we're about to do with the plan. Okay? Yeah, yeah, just to keep that in perspective, so you know. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll um, get along with um, um, Hoheba um, when he contacts me next, because I've had my uh, Skype turned off because I didn't want to talk to anybody um, while the elections were on and trying to get my head around the Westminster. I'm preparing myself to go to Westminster, you see. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go now. But I'm getting all everything sorted on the document side, and and uh, I'll get to talk to Kingy yet, um, and uh, he's already knows what's going to go on. So that's about all for now, uh, Willie. You got anything else you want to ask? Okay, that's all right. I'll I'll just carry on then and uh, wait for. Uh, I can send these things to Hoheba and then that makes it easier for me uh, by the time I get there you'd know what I was going to talk about then it was just questions from then okay okay then okay then Willie there that's Willie so long as I say things to whoever, it gets it off my mind and clears my head. 
so that I don't have to talk about it. We're we're grown men to talk, but when it gets personal, that's different. When it starts getting personal, um, it's gripes that get in the way that stymies what I'm doing for the Manukau um, uh, history. The Manuk in particular, the Manukau history uh, from Waikato, from uh, Mangatauteri Mountain, Cambridge and Hungiheka. Those two chiefs are all I need to know on that side of the commerce and this flag and King William IV. That's all I need to do. Put those into perspective, put them in the archives so we know what happened and stop the video right there and start the new one. From the 6th of February we start the new video of the future and leave that one there, right there, in the museum. Okay? That all that history will go in there and correct the history. It will correct the change of what the Maori iwi have done to bastardize our hapu's native whakapapa or genealogy history and the marais. They've changed all the names of the marais and even my marae changes to Aotere from Marangairo Marae and Rungumai Tāpui Marae in Te Aroro changed it to Hinerupe Marae, right? I better write that down, Rungumai Tāpui just came back and I'm trying to think of it. I'm talking about it yesterday, Rungumai Tāpui, that's, that's the marae, marae in Te Aroro. Okay, Rungumai Tāpui Marae, that's its right name not the Hinerupi down the female side, and Marangairo Marae, it's Awotere Marae for the whole of the Marangairo land loss. So that's what I'm, I'm saying, well, everything was changed, even at Waitangi. Titi Marae, its name came from Titi blocks up there towards Russell. Okay, so they've switched everything around with their land titles and certificates of title, swapping them around and selling them here and there in shares. The shares have buggered up all our history and our land whakapapa. They've jumbled up our whakapapa. And that's what I'm saying to Willie about surnames. The surnames does matter. A name called Hongi Hika matters very much to me, as much as my name is native to these lands or the history of it to put in perspective of what he did and what I'm trying to do here, or not trying, but I'm doing, for the sake of history, to put it correct and put it back in its place with Britain. And then it'll come right. The Queen's got to go. She's got to go. She's already made, um, made her way. And the Queen Elizabeth II Navy ship will turn its name to King William IV Navy ship. Okay, or the King Ernest Augustus ship, Navy ship, because we're going to nominate him in from Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, on the 6th of February. We'll be doing this in Titi Marae well before uh, that date. In fact, when I go up to Hokianga, to that Marae, what's it called? Bundy Waitai is the Native chief up there, that's, that's good. And we've got, uh, uh, didn't write it down the name of that marae he said, up there um, in Kaitaia. We're going to Kaitaia marae there. And I'll make that announcement there that we're petitioning for the record on this video. We're petitioning King Ernest Augustus V to the throne before I go to England. Okay, so he's the reigning monarch, sovereign, presently the King of Britain, UK, and Hanover and Altair, New Zealand here, we swear our oath to. We swear our oath of office to him in this flag. He's the successor and inheritor of King William's bloodlines, male line all the way through to King William the third, St. Patrick's Order, this head here, 
St. Patrick's supporter, he called Sharp, to William the Conqueror, to King Solomon. Okay, that line of wealth and inheritance got converted in Westminster Parliament. And then the Queen and the Rothschilds snapped it all, and we're going to snap it right back off them. Everything and the title of the Pope. Catholic Church back into Westminster, back into St. Patrick's Church order in Dublin. Okay, that's my Irish side of the family and the Patrick side, Jamie Anna Marie Patrick Stewart, Patrick, that's just her name, Patrick, to her family over there. Okay, and my own Cosgroves, lawyers, family from Ireland, Dublin. And Cosgroves and Rot uh, Rogan, Scottish, English, from England, in my family. The Rogans married the Wymores at the East Coast, in the courts, judges, and the Dick Rogan, and John Rogan married Monica, Monica, Monica and the Kaipa. Okay, that's the judge in Helensville. There was a court, courthouse there where this flag was flying. They used to fly there. There was a courthouse right there on the 10 acre block. That's the block I was supposed to get for money, money, money. Car. I said, still get it. But we'll leave that for later. We'll sort out this flag first. And we'll sort out the land next and Cooksbury. 77 Cooksbury. You're going to lose that. I warned you. You weren't listening. You were totally ignoring me. Now you go out with Hillary Clinton, Obama, and all the swamp rats here in New Zealand. I've got your names already to indict or not indict to levy debt or charge. Okay, so I make that point quite clear with this authority and this authority. Trump, Donald Trump, I want to come and see you. I want to come and see you, and I want to. Uh, start the tidal turbines in California. I've picked out where I think they'll fit. They're big, they're powerful, and I need you to help to get them around the world. Being a businessman, I'm a businessman as well, of course, still is, and I'm following your role model of business. And that's all I want to say about that. And trade, we'll trade around the world on this flag to 50, 250 countries. You'll see it on my website, Mawai, powerhouse.com. M O A I P O W E R H O U S E dot C O M. Mawai, powerhouse.com. Okay, so there we'll. Um, set up trade here, direct from uh, Britain in a dual government, Moai, Crown, Crown on the head, King William, fourth Federalist, federal government, federal commonwealth government of the world, okay, that's a world government, world, new world order here on this way, with the Pope, has got the New World Order, well, that's it. This is the Westminster New World Order here. And King William III and King Ernest Augustus V to seize back with this flag that title of the St. Patrick Order and put it back into Westminster where it belongs. And Dublin, under my Irish Dublin, that's where my Ancestors come from Rebecca Cusgrove comes from there. Okay, great great grandmother. So that's the end of that one. So um, I'm just waiting for Jim Week or two to call me. I'll try and call him back. And then I'll try Kimmy Toto.
just keep on this subject. One day I'll race down. I'll go to the gym today. I've been missing my gym. Oh, okay. Um, uh, just check the email. I've just sent um, my latest video and the documents. Uh, I've added the documents with the uh, Dakota American Indians with their flag upside down with the navy. Okay. I put that on. I put those. The, the, those are the 15-page documents with that on the end of it. All right. So that that's that's the new bit. Plus, I've put in the carving that Mohi Manitao found in the Kaiparoa Park, I found it, and it's the parliament, uh, the carving itself. You'll see it on the picture of, of us standing in front of the Waitangi Marae. You'll see it there beside the, the, the front door, that carving. Uh, that, that's, that's the parliament, the native court parliament and the four main tribes, all right? The carving itself. I'll explain that in another video. Uh, of every, I've got everything here for that, and that's the Moriori one with the with the Orupuke and Waka um, that um, the, that is still in the Kaipara buried. They've buried certain things there, and I've just got to hook it out one day. All right, but we're putting that in when we go into Waitangi Marae. I'm just gearing up all that side before I go to Westminster. All right, now that Trump's in, it's made it open the way up for us. Right? It's, it's really opened the way for us to, to get off with this flag around the world with, with America and Britain. Okay? Okay, thanks. Well, oh, who's that? Who's that? Who am I speaking to? Who? Oh, what's your name? Oh, Ines. Ines. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks for that. You're Hale, eh? Hale, you're in our family down home, the Hales. Oh, right, right. Oh, okay, Tararoa, I'm down that way. And his bay, his bay. Um, yeah, I know, I know where that. Oh, oh, look at that. We're getting, we're just over the hill from you. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm organising um, with Jim for the um, Kurota lot up there, and. Uh, because I'm in the seven waka zone, the seven um, uh, incorporations here way back, but um, I, I've been talking to him about it. But anyway, we'll, we'll, he's going to make a hui down there, and I can come down there and, and talk. But I think the videos are, are, are easier to get it across, so that I don't have to talk too much. You can just watch the videos and it's got everything, and I'm explaining everything, okay? Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Here we are. And it's hell. Same hell. They're in our family. That's Tararua. Right. That's good. Oh, well, we've got some connection there to um, Tuhoi and Pakatohe and Matatua uh, to fit into the great scheme of things. So, anyway, I've got a job to do. I just want to make this video um, so that you can see what we're doing, and other uh, people, the Maoris, can see how we're putting history back in its place and putting it into archive in Waitangi Marae uh, Museum um, so that we can leave it there for the next generations to, to see the change, the flip around change, back to who we really are. And we haven't done anything in 182 years with this flag for what it's meant to be, trade, commerce, banking, and uh, selling the world um, with our goods and services that we've got nothing out of yet. John Key's been milking it all the way. John Key, this video for you. You're checkmated with Trump in now. And your fraud buck stops there. Okay, we're investigating you with this, the sheriff is charged with investigating every criminal 
person here in the country. It's going to get found out and charged. Okay? You're the first one. Don't think you're the first one. You've got a trillion pound on you, riding on your head right now. It's all online. And it's already in the High Court of Admiralty in London. I'll just kick that in as soon as we get this flag up. That's the end. The government will carry on. We're not going to touch your government. You're going to have to look after your own people with Hillary Clinton, right? She's gone downhill now, you're going downhill, but you've got to look after your people because we're looking after the Maui people. You can look after those iwi, corporations, which is your invention, and we're going to put this flag up the top where it should have been in the first place. 182 years ago, it was flying right up to 1840, and then your lot of thugs in Australia changed it. Now it's going back up. It's going back up to stay there under King's reign, monarch, and whoop your queen and you out. Okay, that's to say mildly that we're enforcing this Admiralty Court Martial Law and Admiralty Financial Martial Law on you. The financial martial law forces you off the land and forces your bank account open without guns, okay? Without guns. They're watching us in Britain. Now America is watching us with Trump. Trump, this one's for you. We need you and your business skills, your confidence in the police in you, and the military in you, confidence. We've got confidence in you here to convey to the chiefs. They already know. I've just spoken to Willie, Peter. He already knew you were going in. What a coincidence. He already knew you were going in. I think a lot of people knew that. The people in their right minds. The people who are business minded. And people who have justice on their side and fairness and clean laws. This flag was made for pirates, um, Donald. It was made for pirates who tamper with business contracts, especially private contracts. It is a private contract flag that the Queen and the Rothschilds and the Pope and federal state government in America has been usurping King William's title to his Admiralty Financial Martial Law and Court Martial Laws to force people off their lands and into their banks and take their money, steal it. Okay, that's a pirate for you. Now it's going to clean the pirates out now that you're there. It'll do its work from the native side of indigenous people. They have a right in land. It's their land that's been occupied by the British title and the United States of America titles have put them on top of the land. They still are the original names, surnames to that land. The same goes here. That's why I'm trying to identify who's who on these lands can't talk over the top of someone else. I know you're Scottish, um, Trump, President Trump, <coughs> excuse me, President Trump, um, you're Scottish, uh, and that's where I'm going. I'm going to Scotland because the Rogan's Scottish, English, and that's what's coming out in me, that side of the law, and order in the New World Order and the Irish Cosgrove lawyers. Okay? The authority to enforce the law on people. Okay? And Tammy Anna Marie Patrick. Her father is Stuart, but the Patrick is Irish, the Stuart is the Scottish. So she has a part in her history when we go over to Scotland and come to America. Okay, so I'm hoping that we can talk Donald Trump, we can talk business, because I am a businessman, and I'll take care of the native side 
of titles from the king himself. This is a real admiral. It's not a vice admiral, second hand admiral. It is the real admiral, king of the sea title. Okay? So um, I just uh, hope that I can speak to um, Bundy Waitai because the Waitais are in my family in Tiki Tiki, Rangi Tukia, the east coast. They're also in Amaya around that area. Uh, and they're on the Hiringa 812 block uh, at Rotorua East, Port Awanui. So I'm trying to sort that land box out there. The A10 Hiringa is the one I really wanted. The Waitais have got uh, an out, uh, a long-term lease on the Hiringa A12 block. I'll ring the uh, Tumtumu Pairua today just to let them know uh, that I'm still interested. They got a, I got a letter from them. I got a letter from them. From Tumutunu Pairo here, um, Tumutunu Pairo, for the heading a a tall block. Okay, so they've got me as the trustee, and I just need to enclose our signed minutes and reports of the owners' meeting held on the 20th of June 2016. So it's been updated, and I see my name on there. Trustee. Uh, so I'm talking about land titles here because that's my profession as a Maui King William IV Trust Native Land Commissioner inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court and the Flag of Admiralty Court Martial Law and the Treaty Grounds Waitangi. Okay, so this is the married trustee's files. Um, I'm just trying to see where they put me as a head trustee. Well, I'll soon sort that out because I haven't done anything about it since the letters come a week ago. Um, yeah, hearing of owners. Um, Anyway, I've got, I can't read properly. I've got me down there somewhere. Um, and that's the getting a, a 12 block. Uh, I'm just showing you this because it's very important that I um, sort out land and get one right. So I'm going to sort this one out and sort Cook Street out and then sort Waitangi land out before I go up there. I can explain to you people watching these videos all your land titles. I can sort them all out off the Manukau Land Company Scotland Title Company. Okay, the Manukau Land Company the private company that set up the real estate here as British title. Those are the ones I've got here. Okay? I've got them all here. And so I can explain how that all works to put the land owners in the right place. So I can't read. I can't see. Anyway, we'll forget about that. I'm just saying the land, this is the first land I'm doing, the first ever land after all these years of getting a piece of land for myself to go on from my own ancestor's land, Uetaha, Chief Uetaha, there in the Putikirua Ki Waiapu area, and the um, uh, Uepohatu is Ruatoria Mount Hikurani, that, that's the block next to it, okay, um, and you've got Hawati, 
um, up before Gisborne. Okay, so that's my area down the east coast. But uh, I will try to call Kingi now. Toto, Chiki, Chiki, Kingi, Toto. See if he's in a pleasant mood. Might be working. Yeah, hi, Kingy. Um, John here. Um, I'm going up to the Hui in um, Kaitaia uh, on the 18th. Okay, I um, might see you there and we'll just catch up with uh, what's going on. I'll send some things off to uh, Watia in the email and uh, we'll go from there. Hey, all, all good here. I'm happy that Donald Trump got in now. It makes it easier for us. No TPPA now. He's going to wipe it. Oh, it's white, and so they were ramming it through um, Parliament uh, and on the third reading this week, and that's all gone gone to custard now. And that Navy ship coming uh, on the 17th to the 22nd to Auckland, that'll be not going to be a threat now as much as what I thought it was, because if it was Hillary Clinton, they were going to put the martial law here and push the TPPA from here inside that Waitangi Marae and, and, and our flag. Okay, now I'll sort that out when I come up and, and uh, but I made some videos and, and explained it. Okay, bye. Yeah, that's Chief Kingy. What he tells me, he'll be at that meeting in Kaitaia uh, on the 18th. So I'm expecting to be standing up and giving a short presentation. I hope it's longer than five minutes because I only get five minutes all the time. And half of it's not there, so it's quicker now to make videos, and then they can go for it, all right? Um, so that marae in well, it's the marae in Kaitai anyway, so you, you, you can't miss it. Um, just ask somebody at the mobile station, and they'll tell you. That's where I'll be meeting Woody with Jim. We call him. I like to tell people what I do and who I talk to and make it public because it's just like having a lot of people in a marae talking to the whole lot of them and when they watch the video it's really I'm talking to one person and the whole lot is watching if they care to on videos because you'll see the videos you'll see my videos right next to Trump now and uh, the most controversial um, um, videos that have been watched I've got the one there right in the middle of all those um, elections, everything, and the news, news media and CNN, they're going to get booted. And uh, Megan Kelly, she's getting booted off. Uh, but I'm there, and that video right there is PM John Key hereby served US TPPA martial law. Martial law. Okay, you get that? Can you understand this is no joke? When you see me in those clothes, and with the shirt on, it's real. The ignorance of John Key and his police and his governor of what I say and do on these lands will be ignored no more. And the hapu and the rangatira will be ignored no more. And the chiefs themselves will be ignored no more, Mr. John Key, because Mr. Trump doesn't like skullduggery and swamp rats. And least of all, he doesn't like liars and people who cheat in Panama Papers. Okay? The only part that I have issues with is his tax. Well, that's easily fixed because the tax department are fraud themselves.
okay, so he gets away with that part. The other part that bothers me is that the Pope supports him. The Pope supports him and the Pope um, uh, and Israel. Uh, um, Trump is a keen supporter of Israel. Well, with what Israel does to Palestine is not acceptable. And I've already had complaints from the United Nations of human rights issues. I'm hoping that Donald Trump can fix that up, Donald Trump. Your photo is beside the Pope Francis on the documents. I don't mean to put you there as one of the criminals. I'm putting you there to fix them. You and Pope Francis is an advocate for you supporting you in what you do for the good of the people of the world. That's the part I like. But you're there with the Pope because the Pope is going under his eight-point star authority from Westminster. He's taken it because the Queen gave it to him and now the King's going to put it back in Westminster. But I'm going on the New World Order of this flag with these eight-point stars you see here, Donald Trump. You can see it, it's the four quarters of the earth, the eight point stars is this, New World Order. I want you to be quite clear in your mind that it's our private contract with the only king flag in the world, King of the Sea, Admiralty, Mortgage Lands and Mortgage Levy, Ghetto Instruments. Okay, the Ghetto Instruments, um, quickly diffuses any corrupted cases with the pound note. We have a pound note of our own currency under the King Tapio Waikato Chief um, use of the pound note given by Britain, Westminster, and the Chief Tira Waikato Farahirehere, 1820-18 34 in Cambridge University, England, stitched that together out of the April start of authority in this country with the pound note. Okay, we've got our own native indigenous chiefs pound note from that Tirawakato Farahirehe Manikau. title holder. Now Donald Trump, this one's for you. Your Scottish company in Glasgow called the Manukau Land Company put these British titles together and seized all of the New South Wales Queen Victoria titles that had no authority here to put on the land. That's why I'm just explaining this title here of one piece of land I'm going to correct and the whole rest will follow suit under that Monaco Land Company in Glasgow. The first titles that came from here in 1840 was Captain uh, William Cornwallis Simons at the Monaco Heads sold the Monaco tribesmen's land from your country, Scotland. Okay, let's set that precedent for here. And the native title for all the indigenous countries in the world came from this Tira Waikato Whareherehere Manukau in Cambridge, 1820 to 1834. The first British legal, legitimate crown corporation King William IV, monarch sovereign title, was proclaimed in Kororareka, Russell, Bay of Islands, Northland, on the 20th of March, 1834, Captain George, George Leonard, on his alligator ship, blew off the 21-gun salute, and Captain James 
um, Lady Clinton proclaimed the land belongs to the King of England. Dead. 1834. When that happened, which sets these British titles off I'm talking about under this flag, right through the world of indigenous native lands. President Cats. Okay, so that's what I want to say. That'll do for this video. And I'm hoping that he's heard. You can talk to him. I'd like to talk to him to make sure we're on the same page. Anyway, I'll send off the things to documents to Radio Wata. Yeah. Anyway, we'll leave it there. And so, once again, Donald Trump, President Trump, congratulations on your appointment by public. Opinion and polling as President of the United States of America. Thank goodness for that. I'm glad that Hillary didn't get it to the swamp rats. Okay, so that's all for now. Bye. Have a nice day.